Okay, so I was doing all the kills that I needed in the, the core slash hotlands um, because I felt like that would have been a very, very long and tedious video, but um, I just killed Muffet, and I'm pretty sure she counted as my last kill. We'll find out. This is where um, normally Metaton sings to you. It's pretty funny. Oh. Okay, here we are. So if we, you know, get the but nobody came message. That'll be great. <laughs> Just gonna come check out over here. I have no idea what... Huh. Strange. Oh, yeah, no, this is normally part of, uh, Metaton screwing with you. Elevator. I have no need for said elevator. Oh, let's see. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Okay, cool. Nobody came and stuff. Ooh, okay. What am I gonna take? Some junk food, an empty gun, some cowboy hat, a mystery key? Sure. Stole five gold. Hey, this is Braddy. Hey, this is Caddy. If you're reading this, then like, bad news, you mega evil weirdo. <laughs> Alphys just came here and she's taking us someplace super duper safe. But first, we gotta use up these gel pins. Yeah, chill, Alphys. We don't want to waste pins. And don't even think about stealing our stuff. Yeah, creep. Leave our junk alone. Caddy, it's not junk. It's really valuable. Yeah, our garbage is really valuable. Anyway, in closing, you're a total loser. Yeah, loser. Yeah, ha ha. Signed, Braddy. Signed, Caddy. Oh, they left little hearts, though, so that... I don't feel too bad. Okay, let's see. Items. Let us eat the junk food. Empty gun? Info. It has no ammo. Okay. I don't know if I want to use it then, if it has to be used precisely. Info. <laughs> this battle-worn hat makes you want to grow a beard. It also raises attack by five. Well then, guess what? Let's grow a beard, baby. <laughs> Let's come over here. Let's go in then. Determination. Yeah, okay, so then Muffet counted as the, the final kill. And everybody is evacuated. There's nobody here. So there should be another... Um, there should be another shop for me to steal from, so... Yeah. Oh! This guy's still here! <laughs> by a stake in the shape of Metaton's face. Some legendary heroes. Um, is there a box? Oh, I can I can call the boxes, right? No, I can't. Oh. Uh, sell. I really want to buy your weird dusty artifacts, not. Evacuation? You're yanking my chain, little weirdo. So what if everybody else left work? So what if nobody's buying anything? Par for the course, little weirdo. Par for the course. Well, Metaton didn't tell me I had to work, I guess. But that's the thing. Sometimes he doesn't even call me into work until I halfway until halfway into my shift. If I don't play it safe, he's gonna yell at me. Okay, maybe yell is the wrong term. It's more like he has this CD album he plays. What? <laughs> It's entirely full of songs about how bad I am at my job. Uh, alone, 
huh? Everyone else is dead? Does that mean I don't have to work today? God, that it were true, little weirdo. That it were true. Sorry, little weirdo. Threats don't work on me. I can't go to hell. I'm all out of vacation days. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just do the dang thing. Normally you have to go through the core, but I don't because it's a genocide run, so we don't have to do jack except kill stuff. Yeah, Metaton. My, my. So you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. <laughs> Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. There's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, these original functions have never fully been removed. Come any closer, and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Alright, Frieza, settle down. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! Metaton Neo blocks the way. He looks cool, doesn't he? Too bad he's dead. <laughs> G Guess you don't want to join my fan club. You could say that. And you would be right. Just accept your fate. And then we exit the core. This is going to take us um, towards the end of the game. So yeah. Uh, the long elevator. Go for it. Man, this elevator's long. elevator. Determination. Wait. Oh, yeah. Let's just walk through the ruins. Man, it's quiet. Normally there's music playing here, but, you know, genocide run and all. Use the box? Yes. So we'll put uh, the cloudy glasses in there and the empty gun. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see here. So now here we are in New Home. And this is usually where the song Undertale plays. Howdy, Beard! You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's me, Beard. Look at all the beautiful flowers. 
There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the locket. Knife inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the real knife. Let's go. Use? About time. Jeez. The locket. Use. Right where it belongs. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. Room under renovations, huh? It's a king size bed. Normally, um, eventually the king found me crying in the garden. I explained to him what had happened. Then he held me, Beard. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything's going to be all right. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. So yeah, normally the monsters tell you, like, the history of the underworld, and in the genocide run, Flowey, like, tries to basically stop you from killing him. I unlocked the chain in red text. Oof. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her beard. I thought, of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Beard, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Just like it was all a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could let this world continue without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Beard? I was amazed, too. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing, for a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least when we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they?
It's like you know me, Flowey.